Hello YouTube, this is my first video on um, how to make a Minecraft texture pack. Um, uh, what was I going to say? Um, if you guys like, this is going to be 16 by 16 it's going to be the simplest version to do it. Uh, this is as of version 1.2.5, but it should work for all the other versions too. Um, I could show you how to make a 32-bit texture pack, but... Uh, I'm not gonna, it's a little more confusing and a little, it's not really confusing, it just takes more time. So if you guys like and subscribe and comment on my thing, then um, I might do that for you guys. Alright, well, I'm just gonna start off here. Uh, what you first need to do is uh, go to your bit, uh, you need to go to your dot .minecraft. I have a dot .minecraft short, a shortcut on my desktop, I can show you how to make that. But what you can do with the bottom left of my screen, you can type in run. And then you type in percent app data percent here. You go percent app data percent. And then after that, every time you press run, it'll automatically do percent app data percent. Then you just go to your dot minecraft. You go down see, uh, to your bin. In your bin, you'll find all this stuff. Probably not as much as this because I installed the Herobrine mod. But, uh... You go to your dot minecraft your minecraft.jar and copy and paste it to your desktop. So right here you'll have your minecraft.jar. What you want to do is this is where you're gonna need a good archiver. Um I I trust WinRAR archiver the best. Uh don't worry, I'll leave it in the description. It's free. Um a link in the description. Uh you can use 7zip. Um you, I know people who use like other stuff like 8-bit or whatever it's called. Um, I like to use WinRAR though. All of them should have an extract button. So what you're going to do is right click it and click extract to Minecraft. It'll do this little loading thing and right here is your folder. It's going to make a little folder right here of the extracted version of your .minecraft. So this is going to be your .minecraft inside a folder. Right here you can rename this to whatever you want. YouTube's this is gonna be the name of your texture pack. You can open it up and uh, this is gonna be everything in your texture pack. See all this dot class stuff? You don't need that. So um what you're gonna do, you can delete everything that says dot class after it. This might lag it up a little bit, so yeah. Uh, oh right there. See that? You have to be careful. You can't delete this stuff. Ah, I just messed that whole thing up. Alright, here you go. Delete that. Now you can delete all this stuff. Oh, there's your terrain. Your terrain's probably the most important part. I'll be showing you how to do that next. Have to like this. <sighs> <sighs> he has a lot of shortcuts. Okay. After you do this, that'll just uh oh. This will reduce the lag now. Doing this will reduce the lag because now it has to, with that stuff, you don't need that stuff and it'll just make it load so much more. Um, there's some stuff in here that you don't need, like, um, there's something called Meta Imp, which I already deleted from my dot Minecraft. I don't think you need net. Hold on. Uh, yeah, you don't need net. You can delete your net file. You need it for your, to run Minecraft though, so you don't delete that in your dot Minecraft. Uh, you need Paul's code. You need mob misc. Yeah, you need misc. Lang. You don't need lang. You can delete lang. Uh, GUI you need, font you need, environment you need, com. You don't need com. Uh, achievement you need, all this stuff you need. So, um, this is when you get to the fun part. Um, this is when you actually start editing. So, right now I'm going to teach you, uh-oh, where'd my terrain go? Uh, I have to go back and play, hold on. Um, 
cycle in. There we go. Uh, it's ready. Cut and paste this into here. See, it's very easy to fix. Okay, there's your terrain. Ah, no, no, this isn't the right one. Delete this. I must have already edited something like that because I was really bad. Um, cut, paste. All right, that's the right one. Okay. So this right here, this is pretty much all the blocks in the game. Uh, there's some stuff you need. I like to use, this is where you need an editing tool. I like to use GIMP or GIMP or G-I-M-P or however you want to pronounce it. Um, you can use paint.net. You can use uh, Photoshop. But uh, I trust GIMP the best because it's the easiest to use. Also, it has a nice shading tool on it too. Um... So if yours defaults to this little grid thing, then you can do a view and show grid. I'm just going to zoom in for you guys. I like to zoom in on 800 because every pixel is like matched up with the background. See this black and... Actually, no, hold on. I'm just going to edit. You want to change your pencil to one pixel because that's going to be the size of every pixel in the game. So um, see all these black and gray squares? For GIMP, that's the background. So those, like, if you color that in, that's going to be, like, that's going to show. But right now, those black and gray does not show. Um, a quick undo button for GIMP is Control-Z. We'll just take it all off. Um, there's a few things you have to know, because if you do them wrong, then it could mess up the whole thing. See this right here? This is the top of grass. It's kind of confusing to see. But uh, this is the top of the grass. It's gray because it changes within the biomes. Like in a forest, it's a little lighter. In a winter, it's white. In a swamp, it's darker. So uh, whatever you make there, try and keep this gray scale because the gray scale will change throughout the whole entire thing. The gray scale changes without, through, throughout biomes. Um, right here. See this blue thing? This you cannot change. If you accidentally do, like if you accidentally go like that, just take the same color and just go over it because that is the generator of your of your texture pack, like the terrain. And if you don't have that, there will be some bugs in it, like transparent blocks and stuff. So uh, you don't want that. Right here is the fire. Um, I don't get why it says fire text, whatever that says. But um, you don't want to delete that. You don't want to mess with that because it's kind of confusing to do the fire. Um, I don't really know how to do it. Um, if you do a 32-bit texture pack, you need a patcher to use the fire. But, uh, yeah. Some other stuff you need to know. This is a lily pad. You need to keep the gray. Because, again, we threw at the biomes. Um, right here is, like, the grass coming down. Like, see this right here? This is grass block. I don't know why they have two, but that's the same exact thing. So whatever you do up here, just do the same thing in gray over here. This is tall grass. Same thing, gray. Um, I think this is, what is that? I think it's clay. No, it's not top, it's not clay. Is it the top of grass again? Um, no, it's not. I wonder what that is. Uh, I think it might be top of the grass. I'm not sure. Um, that's clay. That is your fern. These are your leaves, some of them. Uh, your other leaves are right here. Obviously, this is your bed. This is the side of your glass pane. So, like, if you do a black say just if you want to do black glass plant pain you, you would want to do black up here also look funny right here is i wonder what that is i can't really tell here's your other leaves um redstone lamps nether warts other types of wood um that's your dragon egg uh see all this purple stuff a lot of people like to put like a design for like their logo for their texture pack right here they really don't do anything. They're just slots for the extra blocks that are going to come into the game. So, yeah, you, like, you know, once the next texture comes out, like, I know in 1.3, they're having uh, cocoa plants. So, you might have to edit those. And, yeah, so you'll have to update your whole thing. But, uh, anyway, uh, right here, that's your, like, stem for your, I guess, um, it looks like melons and pumpkins. 
Um, I can't tell what that is. That's water. That's lava. Lava is a little weird. It's hard to edit. Like when you do it, it doesn't really change in game. So there's a certain way to do it. Um, you could probably look it up, or I might do another tutorial on it. Um, right here. This is so cool. You can actually edit the cracks in the game. It's like when you're mining stone. Say you didn't want to start off with that. You wanted to start off with like I don't know that. That's what it would start off with. It's pretty cool. Um, this is all your wool, lapis lazuli, train tracks, glass, um, sponge. I think that might be it for all the terrain. Um, like I said, um, actually, you know what? While I'm here, I'm just going to show you some powers of GIMP. Um, this is like kind of like a training tool, I guess. Like, what you can do is you want to use the pencil, not the paintbrush. I don't know why. The pencil is just easy to use. If yours doesn't like mine, you have to double click it, and then this little tool tool options thing will come up. Put it down to one pixel, and uh, yeah, now this is where you change the color. You double click this, and this will come up. You just right here is the different shades, and like well, that right here is the different colors, and that's the different shades. So like, say you wanted it like golden, like you can do like golden like that, and color whatever. And, uh, yeah, so, um, this is, like, say you wanted to, I don't know, make the bed a little more shaded. This is a smudge tool. You can use a smudge tool, and it's pretty much, actually, you want to put this on one pixel also. It pretty much just smudges the whole thing. So, it'll kind of shade it a little better. It's hard to tell like this, but, uh, if you notice, if I go like this for a while, see how it's all kind of, like, smudging together that's pretty much what it does it just makes it like more smoother between everything and then you can just press ctrl z um if you want to copy and paste something on the top left there's a rectangular se rectangular select what you do is you just copy whatever you want to do like say i want to put hold ground just copy Control c or edit copy and then edit paste and then it'll be right here and then uh yeah so um uh what else is there anything else um oh this is a color pickle picker pickle picker um you can use just a shortcut for that is hold control and click what color you want and it'll get the exact color you have uh then you could just do whatever you want um you can do all different types of effects like if you want you could do fade out so that when you um like see how it like kind of fades out like it changes colors um if you want to make a straight line you can go actually take off this fade out um if you want to make a straight line you can go like uh you know hold shift and it'll make a straight line and you just do that like that and then it'll have a perfect straight line like, yeah, random thing. Okay, so that's it for the terrain. After you're done with all that, um, go to File on the top left and Save. You can X out of that. Just minimize GIMP. Uh, particles. Particles is pretty cool. Um, I'm just going to put it into, you know, a little thing. Because I'm not really going to show you how to edit all this. Um, this is snowflakes. This is uh, raindrops. Your bubbles, um, fishing hook. This is the flames for your torches. Um, I don't know what that is. I think it might be bubbles from the hook. Um, that's like hearts from an animal. That's a music note. I don't know what that is. Yeah. Um, pack. Pack text is like um. This is like your MOTD. Um, yeah. Like. Yeah, like it's a message of the day. You could just do like. And, uh, yeah, that would be, like, what it would show up on the underneath it pack. This is, like, the cover of the pack. Like, you'll see this is the default one. And then, um, yeah, other packs, like, edit them and stuff. Title. Title is, like, the, pretty much, like, the logos. Like, Minecraft logo, Mojang. This is, like, all, I don't know why they even have this. This is just all the players that first, like, made a Minecraft account. Credits and blah blah blah. Splashes. This is pretty cool. 
you can actually write what comes up underneath the Minecraft symbol, like, and like, you could do all this stuff. I don't, actually, you know what? Sometimes it doesn't work like that. Sometimes it needs to be editing this. So like, delete one and add one. You get it? Yeah. Um. Ah. Cancel. Save. Blah blah blah. And this. I don't really know what that means. Uh. I don't, I don't really get that. Black. That's like the shade. Like you know how sometimes blocks glitch and they show shadows. That would be that. BG. Oh, this is the stuff that goes behind the title. Um, yeah, that's it for title. Terrain. Oh, this is like the moon and sun. Yeah. That's pretty cool to edit. Uh, pause code. This is the sound. This is only like if you want to add sounds. But, uh, you know, not a lot of people do that. Uh, these are all the mobs, which is really cool to edit. Like, you could edit everything. Like, oh, that's how you edit lava. Okay, that's different. Oh, so I get it. All right, you edit this, and that's what would come up. All right, unless it's a magma cube, it's hard to tell. It's an odd place to put um, lava, though. I guess it might be an app magma cube creeper. That's pretty cool. You can edit creepers, everything. You can edit ender dragons. Whoa. I never edited this stuff before, so misc. Do you need misc? I'm not sure. Oh yeah, you do. Uh, map, map icons, the void, pumpkin blur. I love a little tip. A lot of people like it when you like just completely do this. Ready? If you why is this not editing? Oh yeah, if you just go like this. Um, yeah. If you just go like this, like delete the whole entire thing oh yeah if you want to erase something you might want to do hard edge because it makes it a little easier to erase if you just erase the whole entire thing they could see better through pumpkins and it's a little easier so yeah um where is this misc uh yeah um item oh this is pretty cool um you can't edit chests in the terrain you need to edit them here so like when you edit it you have to edit there and here or else it will work boat uh book blah 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 sign is pretty cool you could actually edit the sign that's explosions no that's not explosions explosions are somewhere else gui oh gui is pretty fun this is like the background like um i'm ready to start up my minecraft for you this is like right, like right here. See this background? I'm using a texture pack. I'll put it on default for you. Like ready, right here. That's what that is. So, um, sorry about that. So you can edit that. It can only be for some reason they only do a gray and brown though. So yeah, this is like the crafting, um, your inventory stuff like that, furnace. Um, this is like connection bar over there, food, hearts, yeah, inventory, items. This is pretty much, if you want to edit the bow and arrow, that's right there, uh, tools, food, stuff like that. Uh, yeah, I think you pretty much get the story now. Uh, font, you can edit the font, uh, armor, stuff like that. So, yeah, this is like the, um, pictures map yeah so um yeah i think you get it so uh this is mc mc tutorial 7 um you know like and subscribe and comment if you want me to do more videos uh, i hope this helps you guys a lot uh thanks mm, bye